Hello everyone, welcome back to Let's Play Shadowgate. And I'm going to try and logic my way through this puzzle. I think I know what where to what to do where, but this is all pretty much going on memory. And well, we'll see how this goes. Is this the locked book? Because I need the locked book. Uh, yes. Alright. I think we need to put the locked book in here because this looks to be kind of a gap here. With an audible click, the book slides into the slot like it was made to be there. That's good. I'm gonna save there because I think that's good. Okay, now from here on, it, it gets a little more dicey because you get to go and solve the ridiculous puzzle that I'm not about to bring up because I have had enough of it for one day. I've, I think I've solved it. Okay, bottom shelf. One, two, three, four, five, six. We want to use our cells on this book. The book only comes out so far before it stops with a click. Okay, that's good. Now we want to use the third book. On, or use ourselves on the third book. Okay, good. Use ourselves on... Oh, great. This is where it gets really fun. Okay, top shelf. 17th book. I think this book. Okay, good. <laughs> I was worried I messed up the wrong one there. And the next one would be the 19th book on the bottom shelf. Jesus. It should be this book. Okay, good. Next is the 13th book on the bottom shelf. Which should be this book. Okay, good. And the last one, actually I guess it's not the last one, is the fifth book on the top shelf. Two, three, four, five. Should be this. Okay. The last one should be the locked book, which we put in there ourselves. A low rumble follows, and the bookcase to the right shakes a bit. Yes. I did it. That means your torch is getting low. For God's sake. Yeah. Yes, I know, game. I know I'm... I'm, pl I'm doing a bad job with my torch management. There you go. I know. <laughs> but yeah, that's when you know you really should go get another torch. Anyway, we're quick saving after that fiasco. Yeah, actually, I just saved, so I don't need to. I was going to say, we're quick saving after that fiasco, but we don't have to. We're going through here. Oh my, this reminds me of a room in the original Shadowgate, but I don't remember what to do in here. Oh, I'm looking around first. The smell of pitch and tar emanates from this charred fire pit set within the stone floor. You wrinkle your nose from this pit, the smell of pitch and tar is overwhelming. You smell both pitch and tar. This brass globe has the raised outlines of land features carved on it. The, the craftsmanship is uncanny. I almost said the sportsmanship. Whatever that means. This hand mirror is framed in polished silver metal. Carvings of flying dragons adorn its handle. Okay, well, com common sense would say we put the lit torch in the fire pit, right? You set the contents of the fire pit alight. A weak fire greets you. Well, if it's a weak fire... Come on. Actually, is that what I want to use? One of these. That looks like a better piece of uh, lumber. That's petrified. Okay, so we did want to use the other ones. Use that on the fire. You roll the log into the pit. The flames immediately leap into the air in a most supernatural way. Oh my. With a crackle and pop, the fire elemental appears in the room, playfully flitting about the enchanted fire. Whoa! Hey, calm down there, will ya? You're gonna cinch some eyebrows. Yep. We want that. Grasping the silver orb, we trapped it. Not much you can say. We've done this before. Okay. We don't... This is a red herring, I think. We don't really need the... 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 Mirror. At least from what I've gathered so far. 
So I'm not going to go and do that because that's just a waste of time and I'm already looking what's to say about my condition now. You take stock of yourself concerned about the stabbing pains in your stomach and the spreading green pallor of your skin. However, the wooden shield strapped across your arm gives you a measure of comfort. That's a hint. Don't waste time any more than you have to. Now, I think where we want to go now is back to the courtyard. Where, were the, where in the hell was the courtyard again? I see we're in the study. That takes us back to the library. Okay, okay, I see, I see where we're going. I think. And that, yeah, the goblin's still dead. I was hoping he would be. This should be the courtyard. Now, if you played the original Shadowgate, this is going to seem a bit familiar to you. Because Black Lear, I don't remember if that's the same name of the spell, a calming peace quells the stormy thoughts in your mind as you gaze intently at the symbol. Threatening storm clouds gather and swirl in the sky above. Put two and two together, and well, hopefully you can tell what I'm going to do here. Concentrating on the image of the glyph, you summon your will and release the spell into the sky. The effect is immediate, and the sky begins to clear. The perpetual storm abates and moves off. The moon emerges in its full brilliance, leading a bright glow to the landscape. Congratulations, you've earned the Weathermaker achievement. Yeah, that's just because I remembered from the last game. <laughs> I was like, well, I have it. Might as well go use it. What we do now, I don't really know. That's about as far as I got in my test run. <laughs> So, oh god, what do I do now? Oh god. Well, let's see here. I, I guess we want to go back into the grand hallway. There's no point going into the drawbridge, so we'll go back into the grand hallway here. And... I... yeah, I know. Uh, I guess we'll try... Um, this door. Pulling random doors. Probably not the best of strategies. I'm probably screwing myself royally with time management here. Those large halls dominated by stained glass window, rising to the height of the vaulted ceiling, an eerie glow originating from outside the castle washes across the room. What is that? This wrought iron poker is used to stir a fire. I might need that. I, I did just create a fire and all. That was like the dumbest reasoning ever to take an item. That was probably a red herring I didn't actually need it. That was stupid. <laughs> oh man. Anyway. Quick save here. Actually, I might as well do a, a big boy save too. I save in different slots in Shadow Gates, folks, and I recommend you do the same. Alright. I don't know what I need to look at, and I don't want to take any chances. Banshees. Why did it have to be Banshees? You read the hastily written note, Fandril, I've discovered a great weakness in our excuse me, defenses. Since all since we all have the mark, it's simply a matter of separating our heads from our shoulders. Then our remains can be used in the hidden approach, and the wards will be engaged, allowing those with the knowledge to travel the castle unopposed. One merely has to be within our walls for this to work. I I don't think I read that right. Because if I read that right, that was one of the dumbest things I've ever read. I was just all we gotta do is cut our heads off. I think I misinterpreted that. <laughs> oh, is that all we gotta do? Oh, okay. Why not? Let's look. What is that, anyway? Impressive window dominates the far side of the hall. Right. Each reaching for some type of conflagration in the heavens. Well, the thing that concerns me is that's shining on the floor. And it's a good thing I looked at the floor, apparently. You step in for a closer look at the reflection cast upon the floor by the stained glass window. I apologize, folks. I cannot read right now for some reason. Cast for... Let's see. The moonlight highlights a section on the floor. Hmm. This particular stone appears to be a little loose. How about this one? No. Okay. That's loose. Uh, would the bar work? That seems like something that would give leverage to like pry it loose, maybe? You jam the bar at the edge of the stone and pry it open. A bleached skull grins at you from the hole. Well, that's not nightmare fuel at all. 
The skull is a symbol emblazoned on its forehead, but you can't help but feel you've seen this before. Good! We've, we've, we can finally complete the entrance. This is as far as I've been. Actually, I'm way past that part. But I never actually have saw the full entrance suite before. Alright. What do I, what should I do now? I don't know. Well, I don't think we need to be here anymore. Okay, where are we? We are in the banquet hall. Okay. I guess we could try one of these doors? Maybe. We'll try this one because it's underneath the big, big... Yeah, that. I'm surprised these doors are actually open. Like, I remember in the original Shadowgate, it's locked. Oh, jeez. As you enter the small hallway, a goblin leaps out of the shadows, blocking your way. You both freeze, eyeing one another, each waiting for the other to make the first move. Oh, well. I don't, yeah, I don't know what to do here. I'm gonna guess you just do the same thing from the previous goblin. Er. A look of surprise flits across the goblin's face as your gauntleted fist connects with the monster. Oh, I see. Because it had a helmet, you actually had to have the gauntlet on. <laughs> I guess my fashion sense just saved me. I'm not taking any chances. You're gonna die now. You deliver the coup de grace to the unconscious goblin, slitting its throat and ending its life. Do I need that helmet? Made from the hide and iron, this goblin helm looks a bit large for your head. That's probably a no, then. Alright, well, I, I guess we'll go... Uh... Left. Oh, it actually was open. Good. Uh, this looks rather foreboding. What's that say back there? Ancient script covers part of the wall of the battlements. Try as you might, you can't understand a word. Alright, this looks important. Standing on a base inscribed with the words Reliant Triumphant, a marble angelic statue reaches to the skies, an empty slot set within its outstretched arm. That's probably important. I, I don't know what that means. Like, it, I'm guessing I have to use an item of some form in there, but I have no idea what I would... I don't think it wants a fire poker, <laughs> but that's just me. I'm gonna leave that alone until I know what that what I need to put in there, if anything, but that just seems like something you'd need to put in there. Or you need something to put in there, my bad. You nearly slip on the damp, well-worn stones. Situated on the edge of a deep chasm, the castle defenses end in a fortified watchtower. Oh good. Is that actually active? The stone obelisk is carved with strange markings and glyphs. That doesn't tell me much, but I do want that. Bow, give me the bow. I need that bow. Okay. Do I need that quiver? Sadly, this frayed, ripped quiver is devoid of arrows. Well, I don't really need it then, now do I? I never actually tried. Can I open a bag when it's sitting on the floor? You rummage through the sack, finding two scrolls, a key, and a rune. Taking these, you then discard the sack. Alright, well... I guess we'll take a look at the scrolls and see what's needed and what's not. You are drawn to one particular passage. Follow the path that the ancients have left. The philosopher, the historian, the bard, and the priest. From Leof Drizlin to Heretic Surf, Dens with Bjorn to Elder Anham, Lilith Air, along with Abner, and lastly, Ularus provides the key. I butchered that sentence, I'm pretty sure. <laughs> but... That looks, that next one looks important. You read the words on the scroll, one particular one, that flew Morris. What in the world is flew Morris, and why did I need to learn it? I, I quite want to know myself. Let's see, translates to the word flew Morris, in your mind you see a dazzling flash of light. Oh good, I learned solar flare. Okay, now that we've learned solar flare and didn't waste another turn opening the other one, because we already know what it says. Uh, do I... does he have anything on him, I wonder? The skeleton remains of a long dead wizard lie rotting on the stone battlements. I might as well see, I guess. 
No harm in checking. I don't want to miss an item. I'd go all the way back here. You rummage through the corpse's tattered clothing, but failed to discover. All oh, right then. I guess that's a bit of a dumb thing to do. Now wasn't it? Yeah, you never know. I should have tried to use Invocon there, but if Invocon actually worked, then uh, you never know. Whisper word of power, the spell was unleashed but bounces uselessly. Alright, I guess it wasn't glowing, so that was an even dumber thing to try. I'm learning, folks. I'm learning. Okay. I think we're I think this is where I want yeah, this is where I want to be. So I don't really see a whole lot more to do here, so I I think we're just gonna head back, because I d I don't know what to do. <laughs> I don't know what to do out here. I just kind of wandered around. Alright. It's a good thing to save constantly. The door won't open. It's locked. Hmm. Huh. Well, what do you say to my other key that I found? Hmm? You jam the key in the keyhole hoping it will turn the lock. It doesn't. Well, crap. Okay, we're not going in that door. Now that our little daydreaming sequence is over. Uh, let's see here. This is the banquet hall, isn't it? Yes, it is. I always get confused. The banquet hall and the, the grand hallway. They always confuse me. Okay, well, I guess we'll try this door. Oh, that one's open. Good. Ooh, a torch. I want that torch. Yes. Put it in the bag. Okay. Guess we'll go up. <sighs> okay, let's try this again and not try and ram our head into the wall. I guess we have to click on the freaking stairs to go up the stairs. All right. Cold gray stone of this tower landing perfectly reflects your dour mood. Alright, so what could possibly be beyond this door? I don't freaking know. What is this door? Heavy wooden doors adorned with a deadbolt. One that's latched shut. Well, open it. Uh, this is the deadbolt, right? You throw the bolt open, unlatching the door. And what is behind that door? We shall find out next time. Together. Because I'm not going to play ahead anymore. And try not to screw myself too awfully and much over. I might play on Apprentice, go a little further, but not on Master. <laughs> so, this is going to be fun for all of us. So, thank you guys very much for watching, as always. Hopefully I helped you with that horrendous library book puzzle. And hopefully I shall see you guys later. As always, feel free to share on Twitter, Facebook, whatever social media you use. And as always, again, feel free to like or even subscribe for easier access to future content. Thank you guys very much for watching. Goodbye, everyone.